My name's Carl Hagen. I'm an artist, primarily working in painting, um, and I'm based in Queen Street Studios, Belfast. I graduated from art college in 2018. Did a residency in the art college where I stayed in painting and worked in the studios again for a further year. And managed to get a studio here in East Belfast in the new Queen Street Studios whenever they opened up. I enjoy working in oil paints on larger scale canvases. Um, I do a lot of, kind of smaller work as well, but primarily I enjoy the paint more large scale paintings. I think um, for people who want to be you know, creatives or artists, especially in Belfast, it can be a bit more difficult at times um, finding opportunities. Firstly, I, I thought that whenever I left university, it would just be do an exhibition all the time, just keep painting every day, and you know, things will happen. But it's uh, kind of applying for shows. Artists were affected quite significantly by the COVID pandemic, um, with galleries closing studios and just kind of all these different opportunities that we get going away for for us to show work or even to get materials um, became quite difficult. I think if you know that you want to be an artist um, you kind of have to be, you've got no no, no other choice um, in your in your mind. You have to you have to believe that that's what you want to do. If there's another option, it's always going to be the easier one. Um, and if, it, if, if if you have to choose between the two, you probably would go for the other one because it would be a lot easier than making it as an artist. I think you know, there's a lot a lot kind of a lot of more struggles that you're going to have to put up or put put up with. Um, but I think if it's something that you're truly passionate about and kind of feel like it's your drive, your focus, the one thing that you want to do with your, with your life, <laughs> you, you, you have to be resilient and work for it. Presently, I'm working on a series of work that looks at the human condition and um, different aspects of life. Um, a lot of the work looks back to history to find um, different solutions for modern day issues. Things that tend to feature in my work would be figures or more, more kind of classical elements with like fabric, drapery, um, buildings. Something that I've been looking at a lot recently is kind of images from the Second World War. The one behind me is of a team of men salvaging a bomb from London during the Blitz. I think for a lot of my work, it looks at these darker times in human history where people have done terrible things, um, committed terrible atrocities, and um, particularly during the Second World War, which probably would be one of the more recent things that we would look back on and say that we don't want anything like that ever again. But uh, people quite quickly forget that there's a lot more going on in the world right now that's maybe not immediately on our doorstep, but it is for some other people. So drawing parallels between the two things where people only a couple of generations ago would have been dealing with these things um, that other people in the world are dealing with right now. It doesn't seem like it's right. Uh, 
Exhibitions are probably the most important thing for artists. Um, getting a platform to show your work to the public and have people come to see your work and take away what they want from from your work. That's kind of, I think, a lot of the reason why we make the work is for people to see it and to take away both your message and kind of find their own within that. I've applied for a couple of exhibitions and I'm hopeful that I'm going to be able to show this work um, later on in the year.